Carolyn Hoseman, and this is Confessions of an SEO. These are my experiences in SEO as both an SEO and an SEO tester. This isn't telling you what someone else says about SEO because I believe in firsthand experience to understand Google and I watch their feet. So if you're an independent or agency SEO, I get you. And if you're a business owner or stakeholder and you're really struggling to keep up on SEO because you feel that you have to manage it, I hope that uh, some of this helps you understand a little bit more about what SEO is and helps you manage a team without trying to control them. All right. Well, and many thanks to Confessions Testing and Research Sponsor, the dental marketing guy, Justin Morgan. He owns and manages a marketing analyst and service firm for dentists. Let's get started. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 45. Uh, as Mr. Spock in the, my, one of my favorite Star Trek episodes, uh, Joan Collins was in it, and this is where they go through this time portal. And um, he's trying to recreate his futuristic normal equipment using uh, pre-microchip 1930s technology. So all of that to say, <laughs> I am endeavoring <laughs> to construct a podcast using stone knives and bear skins. It's not quite as bad as all that. I'm sitting in a hotel room using my um, uh, a, a voice recording app, and I'm as sure you can hear compared to what I normally use. It's really audio stone knives and bear skins in room 415. This is going to be shorter than a normal episode. I woke up really early, and well, here I am. This week is the 11th annual SEO Rockstars event, and this came about... Um, from the Google update in 2012, the Penguin update. Um, I'm sure some of you weren't even born then. Um, but, uh, you know, I have a whole episode on that one. I, I tried to find it. I can't remember which one it was exactly. But in it, I talked about how, you know, things happen to us and that initially we call them bad. But in hindsight, um, they begin to show themselves as, you know, the things that really make you. Um and, uh, and everything good that has happened to me along my SEO path um, really sprang from that experience, or, or a lot of them have. You know, so when I find it, I'll, I'll add it to the description, but I, I cannot put into words exactly how great it feels to be at an in-person conference. Um, there's almost 60 SEOs here. And after two years of Zoom, we're all in the same room. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. I, I love it that we were able to stay so connected over Zoom. But to talk and then get herded back into the event, just like in school after a hotel lunch, um, you know, they, they had one server and one, someone, one person working the kitchen and like a lot of us, <laughs> very hungry. But it was great. It was great. Um, yesterday, I spoke about the forensic work that I do on sites, shared my findings about duplicate content, and well, let's just say everybody knows my SEO pet peeve. For listeners who haven't already heard it, it's a whole episode, uh, season one, episode 26. Well, I should say there's there's multiple ones, but, but the main one that I talked about yesterday is definitely in it. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, but just getting to breathe the same air and laugh and commiserate over indexing, SEO testing, sharing ideas, remembering why you like particular people. I, I think that's why I woke up pretty early this morning. I can't wait to get to everything that's going to happen today. And you can hear I've been having fun. And I'm considering going back on the indexing test to launching new content every day or at least five days a week. You know, the reason I went three times a week was after four months of doing seven days a week and only getting 8% of the pages indexed, um, I thought, you know, um, maybe maybe now that kind of like Google is mostly working like clockwork and I know how to request for it and it's not the way that Google recommends you do it. Um, it might be worth it to increase from three to five test pages a week so that Saturday and Sunday are observation days. I'm thinking about it. Um, I did start a new test, indexing cloud pages. For those of you that are uninitiated, cloud pages aren't 
are no, it's not like a, uh, properties like real estate, um, but they're kind of like online. And it's other people's servers that are, um, you can upload your own content and make that uh, content public. And you upload to these servers, they're very economical to use, you know, if you were going normal, it might be like three cents a month and a whole dollar if you go nuts. But, but these methods uh, are what we use in creating backlinks to other pages. And I'll leave that there. But um, over the past two or three years, cloud pages have been notoriously hard to get Google to crawl. So that's my big test. And, and maybe I should say that's what got me up early this morning. Um, preliminary tests are beyond promising. And I'll leave that there. Um, so what I really want to say today is that having the ability to go to conferences, you know, you're reinforcing relationships and connections. You know, I'm, I'm getting really excited about 2023. I know a lot of people talk bad about 2023, but I say like, hey, let's give it a chance. <laughs> if you're an SEO working in isolation, and, and this was true before COVID as well as it is after. We all work in isolation if we're doing real SEO. Um, you know, I highly re recommend you consider adding conferences like uh, Rockstars in your repertoire. You know, not knowing everybody at first, I know is tough. And um, I make extra efforts, you know, to meet people because I know it's hard to walk into a room if you don't know anybody or only know like maybe one person. Um, you know, and basically everybody I know at some point was somebody I didn't know. But it coming to these things, it changes um, when we sort of push ourselves out of our comfort zone. And I know I'm a fairly outgoing person, and sometimes it's even tough for me, but it's worth it. So go out there. Find your people. Well, that's going to do it for today. Sorry about the voice. Remember to catch the Daily Crawl or No Crawl reports. You can find them on YouTube. Just search Crawl or No Crawl. And if you're in Google, just add YouTube at the end of it and take you right there. Um, I'll also put it in the description if you like. Thanks for being a listener. Thank you to all the sponsors of Confessions that help support this work, not just for themselves, but for others. And thank you, Justin Morgan. If you would like to support this podcast and SEO research, there's a link in the description. And it takes you over to Anchor FM. And you can also get there by going to a bit.ly link bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y slash and then confessions sponsor two S's in the middle so um, subscribe if you haven't settled on one source and you can google it because you can't miss it it has been my pleasure thank you for your time and I will see you in the service <laughs>